We wanted to get out there and throw the cast net, catch those pelchers. We've always had great success with all those little baits. You can make a cake with that tail. That's cool. Yeah! Presented by Yellowfin with Captain Scott Walker and Captain Steve Roger. Nice you get here early and get everything on board. I did it, man. I got here early. I loaded the new Shimano rods and <laughs> got the boat cleaned up and iced up. And we're gonna use this new uh, precision piloting joystick, which I've never used before, so I'm all right. Really excited about that. Well, I'm going to untie you, and I'm not even going to shove you off. All right. Well, let me try it out. All right. Don't hurt it, buddy, but it should be easy. First off, just slide her out to the right. So I'm, not that, I'm not pushing off. You do it yourself. That's kind of silly that they go, uh, you know, they turn. Look what you're directions. doing. You're going sideways. I know. That is that's really amazing. Cool. Now just slide her in reverse. We're out of here. And then go in reverse with this thing? Uh-huh. Hold on. Take. Go to neutral. Yeah, use the gauge. No, no, no. No, no. We're going to go to docking, so you can't. Now you won't be able to over rev it. Oh, okay, there you go. That's good advice, huh? Yeah. Now just twist her over. Now, but she's gonna turn. Isn't that sweet? Yeah, I like it. I mean, that's a tight little spot, you know? I'm, I'm watching. I'm fighting the urge to push off. And then the harder you turn, the harder you turn the joystick, mm -hmm. I mean, you can do it real easy and it's just a little bit of speed, or you can actually- Give a little gas? Lay it down and it'll go with full speed, you know? That's a really cool, really cool feature. That was smooth as silk, buddy. First time, huh? Yeah, first time. Now, if you want to, just hit Skyhook right here and we won't move. The wind won't blow us anywhere. Where's Skyhook, right in the middle of the button? No, it's uh, this touch pad. I, just, I love seeing them spread apart like that. It's cool. They, they trim themselves, too. Lead, instead of throwing the anchor, it'll leave you right in the same spot. Yeah. <laughs> My back said, what? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mercury. We don't have to throw the anchor anymore. Now you switch to your levers and it just takes over. It just forgets all about the joystick. All right. Now you have no excuse not to catch me a grouper today. If you find, find a grouper, sit on him. So I've trimmed all the way down, Walker. If you want to pick me a path, I'll try to take it. Hi, oh, it's just clean grass. Straight ahead. There's a little channel somewhere. We did the Ballyhoo deal. We, we, we come down, we did a whole day of just nothing but fishing with Ballyhoo. Killer. Love fishing with Ballyhoo. Very visual. Um, but you know, this next day, what we wanted to do was we wanted to get out there and throw the cast net, catch those pelchers. We've always had great success with all those little baits. You know, no matter where you go, you anchor up, you start trickling them out, and uh, just the ocean becomes alive, and things just start to come and start to come. There's a better hook bait there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's more coming. Unlimited uses, bro. Beer cooler, bait bucket. I know it's a little heavy for a bait bucket, but it does. You could wash your children in it. <laughs> nice, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Those are the hits we need. All right, baby, go. All right, Walker, so the plan is we're going to get right on the edge of the reef out here, throw the anchor, and then we'll show them these live bait. We've been seeing all kinds of fish crash into Ballyhoo. We'll just use these shelters up, and then maybe in the afternoon we'll get some Ballyhoo, but there should be some, you know, if we can get blue water, there'll be some tails, some tunas, maybe wahoo, plenty of bonitas. Are you thinking uh, 
anchored up where we catch yellowtails, big enough where we're going to be out there for the more of the play. A little, a little deeper. bit deeper because we don't need any yellowtail, you know. Uh, I'd rather catch some pretty fish today than Pelagian, so yeah. it's so calm and pretty. Let's Mutton, get that shot. Sales. Oh my. That'll be bonus. Oh. Got another one? Yes, sir. And a bunch more coming right to the back of the boat. Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you in part by Mercury Marine, celebrating 75 years of marine excellence. Yellowfin, only in a Yellowfin. And by Under Armour, Seaguar, and Ameritrail. Uh, two bags of ice for the Yeti. We're gonna make a slush. Stevie, we've got a bunch of new Smackdown. Great. I'm gonna top shot these 30s with, uh, if you want, 30 or 40 or 25. Oh, uh, I would put 30. Is it already 30 on there? Yep, but yeah, it needs little, they both need a little more. Yeah, I would stay with 30 because we might hook some sails in here. Or, All right, I'm know. gonna rig these two. 25 pound, these are 30 pound leaders, but let's put smaller hooks on them, right? Yeah. Because we got pilchards, no ballyhoos. And then I'll rig these with some more, top them off 30 and then put 25 pound on these. Awesome. And I'll twist up some wire. Yeah, yeah, and I'll cut bait. We got out there and we started pitching those baits and it was a little slow getting started, but uh, all of a sudden, you know, we started seeing a bunch of, uh, a bunch of little tunas, little skippies, and, and, and it got to the point where they took over. And <laughs> we couldn't do nothing but catch skippies. Let it go, baby. Smoke it. <laughs> Remember last time we were filming the real smoking oh, in Louisiana? That... Yeah, burned that thing up. <laughs> it exploded. It how really did... was smoking. How does that happen? What you got? Everything. I think that's because you were working the shade. Everything but the fish. Real nice. That'd be the first one. Wait, you know, we've been seeing a lot of little ones. And this is a real one. This might even be a bit skipjack, buddy. It is a big old fat Albert. Just some red meat for you to cut up? Black. Cut me something great like a black fin. Not a black fin, but this one's edible if Skippy. we were hungry. Big old Skippy. He's full grown. Uh, might be the shallowest I've ever caught one, 120 foot. <laughs> Didn't like that. What a pointy nose he has. Pointy. Ooh. Look at that purple. Can you catch that? Or is it just me seeing it? Can you see that purple right there? That is amazing, isn't it? You can't buy that colored purple. You want to chop a couple up? Yeah, man. We got to get something started. Well, there's a good difference between the Bonita and the... Uh Skippy, man, you got that a lot fatter in the back end. And... They swim together, but they're totally different shapes. As soon as the bait hit the water, I mean, you were hooked up oh, yeah. as many as you want. Yeah. Um, you know, testers. We let a lot of them go. We kept a few for bait. Mm -hmm. Now, now that being said, that is a good eating fish. You know, a skipjack skip tuna. Yeah, uh, I've eaten more skipjacks than black fins lately. <laughs> yeah, they are great eating uh, for sashimi or for on the grill. But just they're small, and you know, ultimately we we were trying to catch some big tunas. And obviously, obviously, the more fish we catch, the more we got to clean. Oh, got another one? Yes, sir. And a bunch more coming right to the back of the boat. All right, buddy. We'll see you. They follow me up. There is a jag of skippies behind the boat right now. They're great fish. You know, we, I think we caught a couple on lures. Uh, you could have caught them on fly rod. You could have caught them any yeah, way you wanted. Yeah, we would have had our fly rod. Last time, we would have definitely been able to bust those up. They were they were swarming. They were absolutely swarming. Every uh, bait you threw in was chased right back to the boat, and most of them didn't make it back. I was really surprised that we didn't see any black fins in there, but you know what? Uh, it didn't matter because, uh, you know, the water was a little off color. Those, those skippies were there. We had a great time catching them. Uh, we had those light rods. Uh, we were catching them on like 20 pound braid with a uh, 20 pound fluorocarbon. Um, you know, it's a fast fish. It's a really colorful fish. You know, I try to show that to everybody when we catch them. All those awesome uh, purples in their no, back. I, I'm, to this day, I'm just blown away by the purple stripe on them. 
And you know what's weird is they're the only fish that holds it long enough. Like these dolphins are incredibly pretty when you bring them out, you know, when they're swimming. But then once you get them in the boat and, and ice them down, they're just not as pretty as they are. They lose that, that iridescent. Same with the sailfish. But those skippies, they're the, uh, one of the few that when you actually boat them, they still hold that color, that electric uh, purple that's down their back. Got the nose up. Motor's still running. You can make a cake with that tail. Good. <laughs> Definitely stir a cake right there, buddy. <laughs> he is not happy. <laughs> Into the blue. Presented by Yellowfin is brought to you in part by Yeti Coolers, wildly stronger, keep ice longer. Simrad, go with confidence. And by Shimano, Costa Sunglasses, and Bass Pro Shops. When you come in from offshore fishing, you want to protect your investment. Obviously, you're going to wash the boat down and clean all your gear and clean your tackle, but you got to take care of these motors. These are what gets you out there. What I like to do is, obviously, I start out by rinsing the motors. It's a very simple process Mercury has developed. All you need to do is unscrew this cap, take the garden hose, screw it in, turn the hose on. The motors don't need to be running. The boat don't need to be out of the water. Run it for about two, three minutes. Run all that salt water out, and the motor's good and clean and you'll definitely help any type of corrosion process slow down. The other thing I like to do is I'll pull all the hoods off and give them a good mist. Uh, take the garden hose, put the nozzle on there, and rinse all these motors down. You can remove some surface salt, uh, let that stuff dry. Then what you want to do is come in with some corrosion block and spray everything down. You're not going to hurt anything. I mean, the more the better, right? All you're doing is putting a protective film layer on these motors, which is going to keep all the corrosion down, all the salt down, and prolong the life of these engines. They take care of you, so you should take care of them. Come up again, I'm ready. Oh. Here comes the bait ball. Oh, here they come, right up from the boat. <laughs> here he goes. Oh, he just ate me, just watch him eat it. <laughs> Right in his mouth. That's fishing in the barrel, Scott. You under, under. There we go. There we go. Good work. Look at him airing out now. See what we just did there? You bring your tips together, absolutely together. The knots run right to the tip of the rod. You can untwist them quicker than any other way. Gotta bring your tips together. Oh, watch it. <laughs> watch out. Watch out. Double header. I'm under the boat. How far uh, out are you? Oh, he's up here. He's right here. I'm looking right at him. He just came up to the surface. <laughs> you're in the, you're in the butt. You're, he's over here now. Yeah, I know. He's hung in something. <laughs> he's coming from three or four different ways. We'll get out of the way. <laughs> I've seen him three or four times. Man, these drags are nice. They're eating a pretty big bait for, for the size of their mouth. You know what? Yeah. Uh, we got one to cut off. I'm gonna let this one go. Oh, there's a pack of pilchards right there. Ah! They're fighters for their size, too. 
I'm gonna have to say, if you guys were using mono, you weren't gonna catch that one. <laughs> <laughs> you were over there, he was like, There you go. That rod is ready for any sailfish out there, huh? Oh yeah. There's a whole nother herd of skippies coming down this, this weed line that's going through us right now. Look at those bars. That's cool. Yeah, awesome. She is lit up, buddy. Leader's on. Want to see more of Into the Blue? Well, you don't have to wait for the show to be on. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or even our YouTube channel for full-length shows. We have some how-to videos, amazing pictures. We'd love y'all to come over, ask us some questions, post your own pictures, or just enjoy ours. See you there. Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you in part by Stable 360 Marine, complete corrosion protection for your fuel system. Bubba Blade, the ultimate sportsman's knife. The Florida Keys and Key West, come as you are. Tailwalker Charters and Spear One Charter. What sailfish got? Sailfish, I, I told you I got my you page right one. there. What pound test you got? Shut my eye. There you go. That's a big bait. I'm gonna get this one out of the way. We decided let's make a little move. I'd, I'd like to catch you, you know, a sailfish or try to catch something else. Try to find these tunas because we haven't been, been uh, fortunate enough to find any blackfins yet. Keep trying new spots. And so we made a little wiggle, uh, got up uh, to the east a little bit, got inshore, anchored up in like 120, I think it was. It was uh, put the chum out, maybe there'd be some yellowtail. Uh, we had a bunch of big ocean tallies swim up there. We made jokes about, you know, you catching ocean tallies. Um, they're actually a good eating fish. Uh -huh. Tough on the knife. Yeah, just tough on your knife. I didn't like, get one to bite. It's like cutting <laughs> into a rhino. <laughs> but um, we, we made that move and, 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 you know, weren't there very long at all. And then we saw the sailfish come up. And uh, yeah. I know you had the baits out there. I flipped one out there and, and, and luck have it, he, he ate my bait. There he is, <laughs> I see color. I see sailfish. All right, jump, baby. Coming jump, up. Jump, little girl. Coming up. Boy, it's pretty. Oh, yeah. Look at her remora on her belly. And she's striped up like a whitey. <laughs> she is, man. Look at those bars. That's cool. Yeah, awesome. She is lit up, buddy. Leader's on. Look at the stripes on that thing. Dude, that is awesome. <laughs> I guarantee that one doesn't want me to grab it yet. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Oh! <laughs> it's gonna hit the boat. Man, for all little ones around, that's a pretty good one. Amazing how quick they change color. Yeah. Come on, turn, turn, baby. Yeah. Come on, turn. Little half jump. Oh, beautiful. The hook's right in the corner of the mouth too. Nice. I think it's bill wrap. I like the off-color water. It's pretty. It does in that. make the colors change a little, little different. Yeah. I think it's black, boy. Black with white stripes. Look at this guy. I just think it's beautiful. Yeah. That's worth catching the skipjacks for waiting for this. Oh man, look at the differences. You always want to keep that rod tip real low when that fish gets under the boat because change the angle, that way it doesn't rub on the hull. Yeah, it's, you know, that's a big thing. A lot of guys have it, the rod in a rod belt and they won't take it out. They just gotta pull it out just for a second. It's not gonna hurt. You gotta get it out and you gotta get it over. If you, yeah, if you can see the fish, you can lift up. But man, if that fish is under the boat, you gotta get that tip down low. Oh, that fish is really putting on a show, you know it? All the stripes. All the stuff we don't get to always see when it's rough. <laughs> yeah, normally it's like, there he is, there he goes. <laughs> He's gonna give you a little half jump coming up here. Slick calm out here today. That's why you got so much traffic. Everybody likes to come out when it's calm. 
What a beautiful show he put on. Colorful, the colors on that fish, he looked like a striped marlin. Um, I think it's that off-color water is the reason why we're not finding the black fins right now. That off-color water makes those fish look so much different. You know, when they're in that real, real clear water, you miss a lot of that color that they have. Whereas when you put that backdrop of that powder blue, that, that sailfish was just gorgeous. Lit up, I mean, just a beautiful fish. Here, grab a bill. Coming at you. Well, just leave him in the water and release him. Or you don't need to pick him up, Scott. You're clear. With it. Get him calmed down. Oh, the purples are coming out in the sail now. Oh, there he is. He's ready to go. Awesome, man. That's what we needed right there, buddy. That's a great save. A little morale lifter. <laughs> it's hot out here today. There he is. You know, usually when it's just calm, you don't really see as many as, as you know. All right, I'm going to let him go now. Being caught. He's ready. Yeah, that's awesome. Here we oh. go. Woohoo! Sweet, dude. Look at him. Oh, his remora just got back on him. He was almost sticking on us. Hey. <laughs> Wait. Got to catch, catch two more now, right? Two more, you promise. I told you three before you go home? Yeah. Woohoo! Dude. dude. All right. I marked your anchor ball just in case. Couldn't see it. All right, your turn. Uh, I will not pass you the rod again. <laughs> your, your turn. All right. Take me home. <laughs>